Hi, welcome back to John's Random Reviews. This is a special one today, a special one. Now then, this is not the platform, the Power Tool platform. If people watch my channel, this isn't the platform that I use. But let's have a little bit of a recap. In um, November of last year, on Instagram, I saw a promotion from Bosch Power Tools. And it said, do you want to be a Bosch Power Tool tester? So I thought, oh, that's quite interesting. I, I love power tools. I love power tools. I know, I know you've, I've got my favourite, the platform that I use, but we're not talking, I'm going to get into trouble if I, if I mention their name. But anyway, um, I have got a soft spot for Bosch tools. Now then, I've been in the building trade 36 years, and in the sort of late 90s and a bit of the 2000s, I was on the Bosch platform. So I had a kit of um, Bosch tools. I had like a, a Commodrill and a grinder and a couple of other bits. And this is when the Bosch were on the, the NICAD batteries, the old style sort of NICAD batteries. Now then, at the time, they were. I remember, I remember, they were really good. They were really good. The only thing that sort of let them down, I remember, was the batteries failed. But the actual tools were pretty good. Now, if you remember from the sort of like the late 90s, early 2000s, Bosch had an amazing SDS drill. I'll put a picture up somewhere of that drill. This is the one I'm talking about. This is the GBH 24 volt RE or something. Hell of a drill. Hell of a drill. Just the battery was absolutely massive. But it was one of the first proper cordless SDS drills. And it was a game changer. It's a game changer. In some regards, Bosch have been quite the innovator in power tools. I'm not going to go through every gory detail, but apparently they invented the SDS drill and the jigsaw. There might be someone out there saying that's not true. But anyway, that's what I believe. If you look at that symbol on the old Bosch tools, it looks like the end of an SDS drill. I'll go into more details about this. Anyway, anyway, enough waffle, enough waffle. Um, so I applied to be a Bosch tool tester in um, November last year and, and I, in January, just a, like a week ago or so, I got an email saying, congratulations, you've been approved as a Bosch tool tester. Now let's get the, let's get the thing straight. Um, this is like a paid promotion. What I mean is, I'm not being paid to promote this tool but if I give it a favourable review and don't absolutely slag it off, I get to keep it. And I'll tell you what, muckers, this is a very expensive drill. I wasn't expecting this at all, honestly. I thought I was going to get a little drill driver or um, a grinder or something. Something that I, in day to day I'd normally use. But they sent me this. I must have filled in a bit of a list of... In a, gone on a list and, and this must have ticked a box of this thing which is a big breaker i'm going to pull the camera in a little bit and we're going to go over every details of this i'm going to say it I'm, I'm going to say it honestly if people watch my channel they know i'm quite honest about power tools and i'll if there's a failing or it's not they're not very good i will t i will say and if this tool like listen if this tool was rubbish i'd tell you and what that would mean if I really slag this tool off, potentially I'd have to give it up. And what I mean is I'd have to send it back to Bosch. There's a, like a terms and conditions with this. And if, um, obviously, if I, the, what you'll find is there's no swearing on this video because I just think I'm, I'm honoured, honestly, I'm honoured for them, a massive company like Bosch, to send me um, a power tool to review. So I'm not going to... I'm, I wouldn't slag it off as such, but if it had its fa there might be a couple of bits that I, that I don't like. I'm going to mention them, but I've already tested this. I've already had a go at this, and it's um, plot spoiler. It's really, really good, and I'm not messing you with you. I'm not saying I'm not saying that just to be able to keep the drill. It is a really, really, really good bit of kit. We, I'm going to get into all the details now. Then let's have a little talk about Bosch in general. Now, Bosch has been making power tools for, blum and neck, I don't know, dozens and dozens and dozens of years. And I've done a little bit of research about Bosch Corporation, or, and um, they are 
Um, I think I've got this right. The biggest power tool manufacturer in the world. They make the most profits. Let, I've got my little sheet here. I'm gonna, I might have to do my little crib, my little crib sheet here. <laughs> Apparently, on a yearly basis, um, Bosch make 30 billion. Is that right? 30 billion pounds annually annual profit or turn or turnover. I don't know what quite sure what that is, but Bloomin Egg, they know no DIY. I know what what I mean by that is uh, what I nearly said was there's no D, there's no DIY sort of setup, but Bosch have two sort of um, strands in their company. The actual dark blue blue stuff is all pro stuff, and the DIY stuff is green. So that's how they differentiate. So that annual profit, that thirty billion, um, is probably for. Um, the Pro Tools, the DIY tools, and other little bits, maybe some of the garden equipment, I don't know. So, what else have we got to say about this thing without getting it open? Right, <laughs> one more thing. When, right, when I saw this um, tool promotion, and they said, oh, we're looking for social media's tool testers to test um, our tools out, and I just thought, because we're in the UK, I'm in the UK, in the north of the UK, I just thought, oh man, poor Bosch. And what I mean by that is, there isn't hardly any big tool testing channels in the UK. I've, lo I've searched high and low. There's a lot of um, tool testers in America, or YouTube channels with massive views and massive subscriber counts. But in the UK, I've really looked, I've really searched and there hardly isn't. There isn't hardly any. I'm only a tiny, tiny, a tiny little tool tester on um, on YouTube. Tiny, I mean, micro, just off the radar. Do you know what I mean? But I've seen some of the reviews of other tools that they've been handed out, and fair play, no fair play. But some of them have got like really tiny. Lot it make my channel seem like um, I don't know tools and stuff from New Zealand. So I can, but Bosch. I feel for you because you're up against it because you try I think it's a fantastic idea to try and promote your tools by giving the tools to a tradesman because the boots on the ground and on the coal face as I like to say you don't it's all very well having um someone from Bosch with a little Bosch badge on and telling you you know what I mean how fantastic their tools is but they're always going to have sort of like the, a company mentality I always said if you want to get your your power tool range to go up Social media is really, really important, but you need to get the the tools to the people who use them. So what Bosch have done is they're having a thing where they are sort of giving tools away to people like me to give reviews off. And I'll tell you what, though, they've got to be pretty confident, pretty confident um, that their tools are going to be good because you will get some people... Um, sort of saying, um, oh, this is absolute rubbish, and then getting, just giving the tool back, and, and then that's bad for Bosch. But I don't think this review is going to be bad for Bosch, but I just feel, like I said, I just feel bad for Bosch because they haven't, there's no really big tool testers in the UK. Maybe, maybe I'll be one day, but who knows. You know? But I'm very, honestly, I'm very grateful to Robert Bosch for lending me this at the moment. I'm not going to say it's mine yet, for lending me this amazing tool i bet you're way you're dying to know what it what it is nearly swore there never mind so i'll tell you what it is this is a bosch gbh 18 volt 45c um sds max drill breaker and it is an absolute beast so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to move the camera in a little bit and we're going to go over all the details of this amazing amazing tool now I know you're gonna. I know you're gonna say, "Oh, look at this! It's it's kind of like just singing Bosch's tune," but like I said, I've already used it, and this is a pro bit of kit. And we're gonna go through all the details. And I've done a little bit of, on the end of the video. I've done a little bit of testing, but I'm gonna do more another video with more testing coming up. So let's get into it. Right then, muckers, let's get this bad boy out of the box. <laughs> first thing of note. First thing of note. It's a bit daft, this, but. I, I like the box. I like the box. It reminds me of when I used to have Bosch tools. It's a re it's a really nice box. It looks quite strong, and I don't know. It's got really nice clips on it. Really, it's really a sturdy box. It's got a nice um, grab handle on it, and yeah, it's a good start. The box is good. Anyway, 
Enough of the box, let's get it open. The big reveal. Blooming heck, look at this. Look at this amazing bit of kit. Let's get it out and then have a good look at it. So, oh, I tell you what, this, this is quite heavy. Okay, let's go through some of the details of this um, drill breaker. First of all, most important is it's an SDS Max um, drill breaker. So if you see the end of here, this is an X SDS Max um, chisel bit. Well, a pointy chisel bit. And look at the um, size difference there. This is an X SDS Plus and this is SDS Max. Now, obviously, they're a hell of a lot different. With the drill, I got sent this um, 20 mil SDS Max drill bit. We've got four cutting heads on the top of that. So then, why would you need an SDS Max drill breaker? What's wrong with like an, uh, an SDS Plus? Well, if you're doing some heavy duty work, breaking up concrete or drilling into really hard concrete, um, you need the power sometimes. And if you're, um, time is money, as they say, time is money. So if you want to get your holes drilled um, quicker or you get your concrete um, bro broken up quicker, this might be a bit the machine. A general builder, generally what I've seen over the years, if they needed to have a, a breaker or drilling big holes, they want to have a, a breaker like this in the van, but it would be corded. It would be either 110 volt or 240 volt. And that's what they'd use to break up concrete or drill big holes. Now Bosch have brought this out as a, in competition, in competition with some of the um, leaded what I mean is um, the 240 or the 110 breakers. Okay, let's have a look at some of the details. Apparently, this has got 12.5 joules of um, energy. Now, that, what that means is, <laughs> what that means is, I'm not quite sure anyway, it's the power it can sort of um, hammer forward. This is quite a heavy machine. It's actually um, eight kilograms, and I think the battery is about 1.3 kilograms, so whatever, let's call it 9.3 Kilograms. When you first get it out of the box, yeah, it's, it is quite heavy. But when I've done some testing, you might think, God, if I'm drilling into a hole like that, it's going to just weigh my hands down a lot. You have to be quite strong to use it, to be honest with you, because it is a hefty, hefty thing. But honestly, it, when you're driving horizontally, it's not too bad. Obviously, if you're using it that way, what you, what's an advantage is you can use the weight of the machine with the bit in it to help drill the hole or break up the concrete. Okay, then you might be thinking, you might be thinking, 18 volt SDS Max breaker? Surely that, that, that should have a lead on it, it'd be 110 or 240, or have an app, it'll be 36 volt or 50 volt or something. This isn't going to work very well, but Bosch have done some tricks in this tool. First of all, they've got what they call, I don't really understand it, it's a bi they've redesigned this motor in here, it's called a bi-turbo um, motor. So they've put a big, really big motor in here so it can get maximum draw from the batteries. Wait till you see the batteries. I'll get one of the batteries off. To get the battery off, you just click that down and then it pulls out like this. Look at this, wow. This is a 12 amp Procore 18 volt Bosch battery. It's quite heavy. It's quite heavy, but what it is, it's got the cells inside this battery are actually 2700 cells. Now, a lot of the other competitors, they've got 18650 cells. So this has got 2700. They're slightly bigger than the 18650 cells, and apparently they can they can they can sort of like you can draw more power out of the obviously a 12 amp battery. So with the 12 amp battery and these um, 2700 cells, Bosch, according to Bosch, they can draw loads and loads of loads and loads of power from this battery to drive this bi turbo um, breaker. It's a lovely battery, actually. Look at these bits here. Look at these bits here. It's got like fins in it. And what they're for is to cool the battery, keep the battery cool. Keep the battery cool. I've used this and the, and the battery doesn't, only gets warm, only gets warm. It's a nice battery. I like, quite, like, quite like these red bits. It's got um, an indicator at the back. 
to show you how much level of um, power you've got left in the battery. So we'll get this back on. So the build quality is quite um, really, really good on this. It looks like a pro industrial tool. What I would have liked really is some some sort of rubber over molding sort of here, sort of like, because I don't tell them, don't tell Bosch, but I've actually uh, um, dropped, this is obviously a heavy machine. And I've, look at that, I've damaged it. I've actually dropped it a little bit. So if you had a little bit of rubber over molding on here, they've got, um, a little bit of sort of um, over moulding here. Well, it's not really, it's like a plastic. It's like plastic there. This bit's metal. This bit is probably aluminium, I'd say. And the rest of it is like a glass fibre reinforced um, plastic. So let's talk about vibration control. In this sort of, when I get into the segment when I'm using this, that's where it comes into effect. Impo importantness, importantness. <laughs> My my hands have been damaged by power tools. All the little nerves in the hands, they've got damaged by vibration. I think it's called vibration white finger a little bit. It's not too bad, but when it, when the hands get cold in winter, as it is now, they go numb really, really quickly. So to have a tool that has um, vibration and um, dampening is a brilliant asset. So look at the back of here. We've got two sort of vibration dampening is here. So let's see if I can move this. You can see that moves like that. So when you're holding onto this tool, when you're holding onto that tool and pressing the trigger, this bit here will take some of the vibration off here. But, but that's not all, that's not all. I've done a little bit of sort of research about this. Now in this, in this area, of the tool in there. It's got another vibration dampener. It's got some kind of like spring arrangement here. We've kind of get like a bit of a metal look that fastens to four springs. And that helped with the vibration dampening in this area. Right, this is the kind of like con control knob, if you like, to control the different settings. So at the moment it's on um, hammer drilling. And if you turn it 180 degrees, that's on to chisel mode. Or chisel mode so you can there and if you put it onto here what you can do you can get really really wide spade bits nowadays sometimes about three inches sometimes a little bit wider sometimes you can get ones for chiseling clay in like um in the ground but w when this setting when you've got it on this setting here what you what you can do is you can move the the, the direction of where you want the actual spade bit there so that's a good that's a good little feature other things of note other things of note it's got obviously a grab handle because you couldn't really you couldn't really grab this thing one handed at all. I would have liked to, honestly I would have liked to have seen one of them handles where it's a bit closer here and some of the the competitors have one that has like a grab handle here. I prefer them. I prefer to have a little grab handle there and I would have liked to see listening to this um Robert Bosch a little bit more vibration dampening on that handle I know I know Bosch do a another handle with a little bit of a sort of like a springy bit there why they didn't do it I don't know this is the kind of tool that I wouldn't use really because I'm a, a general plumber so I generally wouldn't wouldn't use a tool like this I wouldn't need one I wouldn't need one all I all I've got is like a smaller STS plus drill that can do a little bit of breaking but let's say you were kind of like a, in a real industrial setting, let's say at a power station or some kind of infrastructure thing, and you had to put in these um, big fixing bolts for some anchors for some steel work, and you had to, and you had to, you were nowhere near sort of any power. This could be just a ticket. Okay, muckers, this is another feature of this um, fantastic bit of kit. It's got. A little module there, Bluetooth module that you can link to your mobile phone. And above it, it's got like a, an indicator screen. So let me just um, just give it a little bit of a blip and you'll see it working. <laughs> right, you see it lights up green. It's got the battery indicator there. And on the left there, it tells you if the, the drill's getting too hot and you need to give it a break. And that's the little bit that connects to your phone. <laughs> and this bit on the right there, I think it's this, what this tool's got is an anti-kickback technology. It's got some kind of gizmo in here. So if the drill bit gets stuck on a bit of rebar or a really bit of hard like flint in a concrete, the drill in the olden days used to spin round 
And it's been, honestly, it's been known, and no word of a lie, I've known this happened to someone where it's broken the wrist, honestly, or sprained the wrist because the drill can't stop. It just goes around. I've heard stories of about the drill spinning and spinning and spinning and pulling the lead out of a, out of a socket. That, that is actually true. So what the Bosch have done, they've put some kind of gizmo in here. So when it starts to kind of grab, it kind of stops the, stops the motor and this thing will flash red. So that's a really that's a really good bit of in, in the more the testing stages we'll go into that a little bit a little bit more but a little bit of a talk about this link to the mobile phone I've got the app on my phone and you can't really do that much you can maybe get the light on the front to light a bit a bit more and you can change a few of the settings but you can actually alter the performance of this tool. Maybe there'll be a specific kind of job where you want to running run to want to run this tool sort of half power. Maybe, maybe. But generally, you know, people will just have it on max. But one good thing is really, if you're kind of drilling into sort of like a material where where you can't you need, don't need don't want to damage it, and you want to do a slow start, it's got that. So what you do is on auto at the moment. Hope you can see this. I don't know what that favourite is, but the soft start, you can ha you can um, have it so when you press the trigger, it ses sets off really slowly and then it ramps up. So your drill bit doesn't sort of skit about, it stays central, it doesn't damage the material. Now then, honestly, I don't know, honestly, I don't know why you'd want to link um, a machine up to a mobile phone. I don't think, I think personally, I think a, ge a general builder or someone using this, it doesn't really, ne doesn't really need to link to a phone. I think you could have had more of the sort of like the, the alterations of the settings on the tools. I personally think that would be better. But one thing I, I think a power tool company should do, especially on something, this is really, really, I'm going to go into a minute how expensive this tool is. But why not have like a GPS tracker in it? And maybe have it linked to some kind of database or Bosch database. I think that would be brilliant. Tool companies, Robert Bosch and other tool companies, if you've got a really expensive tool, let's see some GPS trackers in the tools so uh, we can see, if they get nicked, we can see we can see where they are. I think some tool companies have like uh, some kind of tracker, but I think it's only a Bluetooth tracker, so you have to be in a, a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi signal. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But... Now then, let's talk about pricing. This is an expensive drill, but it's all relative, really. If you're going to have an application where you can use this and sort of um, sort of it saves you time and money, it's going to be worth it. Now then, the body of this this um, tool, I think online I found it the cheap cheapest is about six hundred and fifty quid just for the body. So big, big bucks there. And the battery, I think, um, is about 165 quid for them. One of them 12 amp um, batteries. On the Bosch sort of website, it says to get the maximum performance out of this tool, you should be using either an 8 amp or a 12 amp battery. That kind of makes sense on a big tool like this. Now, in regarding sort of like um, where this kind of tool places in its competitor's price range, it's not a million miles away. It really isn't. Once you get into SDS Max um, breaker drills like this, they're all into, into you know, in a kit form, they're all pretty much about a thousand quid. About a thousand quid. But what you get for a thousand quid generally is a, a box and you get the, the drill and you get two batteries and a charger. I think the best deal at the moment actually is on Screwfix. If you want, if you want one of these, if you look on Screwfix, I think, God, it's a thousand quid with two 12 amp batteries and a charger, and that's with VAT on top of it. So in theory, it could be, blooming heck, it could be like just a little bit over 800 quid for this, um, which is a pretty good deal. There's lots of technology, and I've used it. We're going to put a little bit of a clip in a bit and um, of me using it. Right then, muckers, got the drill. Got a massive bit of concrete block here. What we're going to do is going to drive a hole through here with this bit with fully charged battery. So we're going to see how it copes getting through this concrete block. 
Got my goggles on. Got my ear defenders on. I don't think there's any rebar in that, but very impressive. Flew through it. Maybe not the, that's not the hardest of concrete. It's not got much um, aggregate in that in that block, but nevertheless, still pretty good. I know it's hard to see, but there really, really is minimal vibration on this tool. I hardly felt anything. As you can see now, in a minute, in a minute, there we go. Just put resting my hand on top. There's no sign of any vibration there. Oh, look at my, my trigger hands. Right, let's see if we can get this anti-kickback technology to work. I'm trying to force it a little bit, but I'm um, trying to replicate it. See, it's got flashing red there. All you do is let go of the trigger and then you're off again. Let's have a look at the battery. I've done four holes through about a um, good foot of concrete, good foot of concrete. And I've still got four bars. Oh no, hang on. No, I've still, I've got four bars on the battery out of five. So we'll try a little bit of chiseling. Okay then, let's try a pointy chisel bit. Okay. Wow, that, that was impressive. Honestly, the concrete's not very dense and not very thick. It's, only, it's, just, got, it's just rubbly, really. It's just rubbly. But it made quick work of that. And honestly, honestly, there, there's, no hard, there's no vibration coming back from the tool, from the bit back into the tool. There's no vibration here. There's a tiny little bit in the handle there, but there's none in this area. So, so far, I've got to say, <laughs> I've got to say, I'm really, really impressed. Let's see what the battery's like. Get the battery off. See what the state of play is. Um, it's still on three bars. It's done quite a, quite a lot of work and it's still um, two thirds of the charge. It's quite warm, that battery. Quite warm, but not, not too bad. So, first impressions, really, really good. So there we go. What do I think of it? What do I honestly think of it? 
I think it's really, really good. I like the technology. Some of the, sometimes, uh, some of the technology is a bit, I don't know, I'm not sure about some of the technology with a Bluetooth thing, but the anti vibration technology in this tool and how it works and the batteries, it's a really, really good bit of kit. Do you, do you think I've done enough, um, for Bosch to let me keep it? Not sure. This um, video is going to have to be sent off to Bosch, and their um, top boffins are going to look at the look at my video and say, mm, "Don't know, sure, mm, I don't know." But anyway, let's let's hope so. Because if you're in the market for an SDS Max breaker, this could be a, just the ticket. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. Remember, random is rad. Welcome.